For this video, I am going to teach you how to add a subdomain on GoDaddy. So the process is pretty straightforward and the first thing that you need to do is log in into your GoDaddy account. Head over to godaddy.com and then again just log into your account. Just fill in all of your you, all of your sorry, information, your username and your password. And then once you are logged in from the home page, go to the domain tab on the left hand side of your screen. And then from here, go ahead and click on to the domain settings and go to DNS. So just locate that on the upper part of your screen. And then once you're in here, you should be able to see all of the list of your domains or all of your record right here. So now if you want to add a subdomain, what you need to do is to simply click on to this add new record right here right here and then just fill in all of the necessary information so on the first part you can just select or once you click onto this one right here the drop down menu will appear so you have option depending on what you need so or just select the record type depending on what you need so you have right here a a a c name and so on but for now since we're adding a subdomain select a now for the name this is usually the at or www but if you are creating a subdomain this is usually what you're going to use usually is www and then just fill in your name right here so for example blog so if you want blog your dot your domain dot com so you can just fill those in or fill that in in this section now for the value you can just enter the ip address of the server where your domain will be hosted now and for the ttl so this is usually or you can just leave the ttl as a default setting unless you are instructed to change it so now once you've entered all the, all of the details just hit the save button right here to add the subdomain and the new a record for your subdomain will now appear in your dns records so just like any other dns changes it may take some time for your subdomain to propagate so this process can take anywhere from a few minutes to up to 48 hours so don't worry if it doesn't show up immediately and so that's basically it that is all all of the steps that you need to do for it to be able to add a subdomain in your godaddy so i hope this video helped you and if it did please make sure to like subscribe and hit the notification bell button thank you so much for watching and have a great day